Hi, how you doing? This is the Gamertron, and welcome to the Gamertron Show, and welcome to Let's Play Dark Sector, Episode 2. This Let's Play has been giving me a lot of trouble. First Episode 1, I had audio problems, and I had to redo the thing all over again. And same thing with Episode 2, had audio problems, and had to redo the thing all over again. So this is take, I don't know, 2... Free. Oh, no, I don't care anymore. Point is, this is Chapter 2, Exposure. And as we can see, Hayden is pretty messed up from that explosion he just escaped from. His arm looks... yeah, his arm's pretty fucked up. Ooh. Well, get out of my head, Mesner. There's some things in there that I consider very personal and private. And cue helicopter. I really like uh, this opening to chapter two because Hayden actually sways side to side when you move him forward. It's very, like he's actually injured. Now this is just silly. You see that radio? Somehow Hayden has telekinetic powers. I'm joking, of course, but he didn't touch the radio at all. Somehow it turned itself on and he's able to get the right frequency to contact high command because that makes sense. Shot you gave me. It's not working. Eh, I never thought it would. Is uh, probably not. I mean, the game's just started, and we do still need an antagonist. Ah, Yargo. He's one of the few actually well-developed characters in this game, and he's actually kind of likable. Yeah, Yargo's a... A, night, a good character. We'll meet him eventually. Just follow the coastline north. I've lost all my gear. You didn't have any gear to begin with, Hayden. You just had pistol ammo and C4. Oh boy. Yeah, I really like the designs of these masks for the for the Russian soldiers. Let's just admit they're Russians. They sound Russian just because we're in Lazaria. We all know it. It's just code for Russian. Now, he actually made an effort, Hayden. Just take note. He actually touched the radio. Uh-oh. Ooh, Hayden's not 100% now. Oh, no. That looks like it hurts. Oh, I'm a pig, eh, guy? Well, guess what? Oink, oink, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't insult a pig. Fatality! Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you... My second favorite video game weapon of all time, and the face of Dark Sector, the Glaive. Talk about a badass introduction for a weapon. We now have the Glaive, the signature weapon of Dark Sector. It's poster cover boy, if you will. It's on. It's at the main menu. It's on the cover. Dark Sector just focuses around this one deadly killing machine, the Glaive. Now. Let's use this baby and get it in action. Whoa! Headshot! Nice. Come on. Come on, bad boy. Let me test the glaive. Whoa! And... Ooh! Yeah. Nice and sharp. Can cut an arm off a deadly Russian soldier. Let's see if we can go for another execute. Ah! We get an awesome new melee weapon, Hayden, and you, of course, go for a neck snap. And there we go, that's more like it. <laughs> so yeah, because of the glaive, Dark Sector is great and for mature, because of the several, several, several gory melee takedowns you can uh, get on your enemies. Because of the amount of blood and gore in this game, when it was released back in 2008, it was banned in Australia for, like I said, blood and gore. Which is usually the cause of the glaive. Oh, hi, buddy! Never seen you there before. Ooh. Again, nice little slow-mo from time to time. Executing with the glaive. It's pretty badass. Let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, more Russian. I don't even need to use any ammo. Oh, shoot. Oh, that dude's lucky. He's got cover. But then again, so do I. Oh! Dang it, couldn't get a headshot. 
Let's see. Can't get a headshot. I will take your leg, though. From cover to cover. Whoa! Execute! Ooh. Oh, do you need a hand there, buddy? Ha 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 ha. Whoa! Oh, headshot. Oh! <laughs> Critical shot. Let's see if we can get another execute. Damn it, Hayden. We have an awesome new melee weapon, and you're just going around snapping necks. Speaking of awesome melee weapons, the glaive has just been upgraded. <laughs> Every time the glaive upgrades, as you can see, you get an awesome, like, your arm slowly becomes more infected as the glaive upgrades. As you can see, I've got more, like, I know, more armored skin on that thing. And now I have a new ability for the glaive. Ha ha. I can now uh, target certain items and uh, have them sent over to me. Like, let, like that gun. Steel. Yes, that was the name of the ability. I just had to remember it. Ah, didn't get a full lock. There we go. Now I have a gun that my glaive so helpfully gave to me. Now, since I am have a weapon, I might as well talk about weapon governors as the, as the game so promptly tells you right there. So yeah, guns have detonators on them so that infested individuals can't use weapons because... People who are infected with a technocyte virus, like Hayden, don't aren't aren't complete animals. They know how to use weapons. They just they only fo they're they're savage and they only go for killing things. Hayden somehow has full control over the infection so far. Let's see what happens as the game progresses. There are secrets that will be that secrets and plot twists that will unfold. And I just got an upgrade. Upgrades are in those suitcases, as you just saw. And sometimes they're a little hard to get, but what do you know? We just got that nice ability, steel. I can use those upgrades to add them to other weapons as I progress throughout the game. Looks like we took a bit of a fall, clumsy Hayden. Ooh. Where? Oh. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. They think they have the drop on me. Well, they're in for a surprise. <laughs> Look at him being all sneaky. Come on, open the door. I have a surprise for you. Boom! Headshot. Mind if I borrow your shotgun, buddy? Thanks. And you are dead. <laughs> because of the weapon governors, you can't use guns for too long. The game really enforces you to use the glaive. And that's a good thing, because the glaive is a great weapon, it's very useful, and you will grow to love it. Need myself some more ammo, a big fight's about to start. Looks like we're surrounded by a team of hazmat troopers. We'll have to teach them a listen. Let's see if we can get a bit closer. Boom! Aw, oh, you going somewhere? Hey, nice arm. I said, nice arm! Dang it! I said, nice arm! There we go! Dang it! Headshot! Ah, dang it! Okay, gotta fall back, gotta fall back. Ah, fall back, fall back, fall back. Ooh, what was that? That sounded big. Headshot! Let's see if we can get another headshot. Ooh, did not a headshot, but stunned him. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound too pleasing. And come on. I, okay, I, I know what's coming. Yep, there he is. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Colossus. Believe it or not, that used to be a person. But the Technocyte virus has transformed him beyond belief. <laughs> Whoa, that was sick. You saw all those guys went flying into the air. That was awesome. I'll just let him do all the work. This is awesome. Uh-oh. He's coming for me now. Hi, big guy. Let's dance. Whoa! You're really taking the house down. Whoa. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, uh, not gonna lie. The Colossus, pretty awesome. He also has a high metabolism and take a lot of uh, bullets. So let's just lose every bullet we got. Ugh. Oh, got yourself trapped there, buddy? Ooh, guess not. Oh, he's taking out Russian soldiers left and right. Ah, oh, you missed me. So sorry, buddy. Ugh. 
Oh, you're throwing stuff at me. Okay, well, mind if I throw something at you? Oh, boy. Yeah, as you can see, Dark Sector has uh, some destructibility, but only in certain buildings. And usually only when the Colossus is around. Come on, big guy. Bring it. Whew. Yeah, this is a pretty awesome first encounter with the, the Colossus. And it really gives you an idea of the dangers of the Technocyte virus. I mean, if it can make this thing, imagine what else it can create. Come on. Whoa! I see this gun ain't doing much for you. Let's just see how much more you can take. Whoop. Come on, I'm Hayden Tenno. You think you can beat me? Bring it. Where are you going, buddy? The fun's just getting started. Hey! 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 Oh, uh, well, he just jumped away. So yeah, that was the Colossus. And don't worry, folks, we are not done with him. We will meet him later on in the game. Hmm, now how to progress? Well, there's a bridge here. And I have a boomerang sword thing, blade, whatever. Hmm, I wonder if I can hit that button over there. Oh, what do you know? I can. Uh, so yeah, there are a few minimal puzzles that you'll have to use the glaive to solve. Whether it be boss battles or just environmental puzzles. The glaive is a really big part of Dark Sector, and it's my second favorite video game weapon of all time. It's just, it's awesome. I have nothing else to say. Well, let's see. What's behind door number whatever. Down we go. And we are in the sewers, it seems. About to start another chapter. But with the end of a chapter comes the end of another episode of Let's Play Dark Sector. So I hope you guys enjoyed the reveal of the glaive, our battle with the Colossus, and our upcoming horrors and adventures that await us in the next episodes of Let's Play Dark Sector. Sorry this took a while to get out. Sorry I had to recut this and redo this. No matter, it's out, and I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Dark Sector, Episode 3.